Have you ever felt drained by certain people in your life, unsure why they have such a negative impact on your well-being? Buddhism teaches us to be compassionate, but also wise about the company we keep. Today, we'll explore the 11 types of people you should never tolerate according to Buddhist principles. In this video, we will delve into the teachings of Buddhism to identify the kinds of individuals who can hinder our spiritual and personal growth. Recognizing these traits can help us maintain a harmonious and positive environment. By recognizing these traits, we can protect our inner peace and create a supportive environment for our spiritual journey. 1. Deceptive People Deception, the act of misleading others for personal gain, stands in direct opposition to the core Buddhist principle of right speech. Right speech, part of the Noble Eightfold Path, emphasizes the importance of honesty and integrity in our communication. Deceptive individuals twist the truth, fabricate lies, and manipulate facts to suit their selfish agendas. They may do so to gain advantage, avoid responsibility, or harm others. In Buddhism, deception is harmful not only to the deceiver, but also to those who are deceived. When someone is deceitful, it creates an environment of mistrust and uncertainty. This lack of trust can erode relationships, leading to conflicts and suffering for all parties involved. Deceptive actions can also cause significant harm to one's karma, as the intention behind deception is rooted in selfishness and often malice. From a Buddhist perspective, associating with deceptive individuals can be detrimental to one's spiritual growth. Their constant manipulation can cloud your judgment, leading you away from the path of truth and enlightenment. Moreover, being around such individuals can subtly influence you to adopt similar behaviors, thereby straying from the virtues of honesty and integrity. Buddhism teaches us to cultivate mindfulness and awareness, allowing us to recognize deceptive behaviors in others. By identifying these traits early on, we can make conscious decisions to distance ourselves from such individuals. This separation is not an act of hatred or animosity, but a step towards preserving our inner peace and integrity. To counteract the negative influence of deceptive people, it is essential to surround ourselves with individuals who value honesty and transparency. Building a community based on trust and mutual respect fosters a supportive environment for spiritual practice. By doing so, we uphold the Buddhist values of truthfulness and sincerity, paving the way for a more harmonious and fulfilling life. 2. Envious People Envy, the feeling of discontent or resentment aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck, is a deeply destructive emotion. In Buddhism, envy is one of the three poisons, greed, hatred, and delusion, that obstruct our path to enlightenment. Envious individuals are often consumed by jealousy, spreading negativity and discord wherever they go. They may undermine others, belittle achievements, or foster a toxic environment through their constant comparisons and resentments. From a Buddhist viewpoint, envy is a manifestation of ignorance and attachment. Envious people are attached to the material world and external validation, failing to see the transient nature of such pursuits. This attachment leads to suffering as they constantly compare themselves to others and feel inadequate. Envy blinds them to their own potential and the present moment, trapping them in a cycle of dissatisfaction and misery. Interacting with envious individuals can be particularly draining and detrimental to our well-being. Their negative energy can influence our thoughts and emotions, pulling us into a similar state of discontent. They may sow seeds of doubt and competition, hindering our spiritual growth and peace of mind. Moreover, their constant focus on what they lack prevents them from experiencing genuine joy and appreciation for what they have. Buddhism encourages us to practice mudita, or sympathetic joy, which is the pleasure that comes from delighting in other people's well-being and success. By cultivating mudita, we counteract the effects of envy and foster a sense of interconnectedness and harmony. We learn to celebrate others' achievements as our own, breaking the cycle of comparison and resentment. To protect our spiritual journey, it is crucial to recognize envious behaviors in others and maintain a healthy distance. 
Surrounding ourselves with individuals who practice contentment and joy can create a positive and supportive environment. By doing so, we uphold the Buddhist teachings of compassion, interconnectedness, and inner peace, paving the way for a more fulfilling and harmonious life. 3. Hypocritical People Hypocrisy, the act of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's behavior does not conform, is particularly damaging in the context of spiritual growth. In Buddhism, authenticity and integrity are highly valued, as they align with the principles of right speech and right action from the Noble Eightfold Path. Hypocritical individuals, who say one thing but do another, create confusion and mistrust, hindering both their spiritual progress and that of those around them. Hypocrites often present themselves as virtuous or pious, but their actions reveal a different reality. This discrepancy between words and deeds can erode trust and damage relationships. From a Buddhist perspective, this behavior is rooted in delusion and ignorance, as hypocrites fail to see the value of consistent and genuine practice. Their actions are often driven by ego and a desire for external validation rather than sincere commitment to their stated beliefs. The presence of hypocritical people in one's life can be particularly challenging. Their contradictory behavior can create a toxic environment, leading to feelings of betrayal and disillusionment. They might preach compassion while acting selfishly or advocate for honesty while being deceitful. This inconsistency can cause confusion and distress, making it difficult to discern the true path to follow. Buddhism teaches the importance of being true to oneself and living in accordance with one's values. This requires a deep commitment to self-awareness and continuous self-improvement. To counter the influence of hypocrisy, it is essential to cultivate mindfulness and discernment. Recognizing hypocritical behavior allows us to set healthy boundaries and distance ourselves from such influences. Surrounding ourselves with authentic individuals who strive to align their actions with their beliefs fosters a supportive and harmonious environment. This alignment encourages mutual growth and reinforces the Buddhist principles of sincerity and integrity. By doing so, we create a community where trust and respect prevail, facilitating a more profound and fulfilling spiritual journey. In essence, avoiding hypocritical people helps us maintain our commitment to authenticity and integrity, ensuring that our actions genuinely reflect our values and beliefs. This alignment is crucial for achieving inner peace and spiritual enlightenment. 4. Intolerant People Intolerance, characterized by an unwillingness to accept views, beliefs, or behaviors that differ from one's own, is a significant barrier to personal and spiritual growth. In Buddhism, the practice of compassion, empathy, and acceptance is paramount. Intolerant individuals who reject and often condemn those who are different create an environment of division and hostility, which is antithetical to the principles of Buddhism. Intolerance stems from ignorance and fear. Intolerant people are often afraid of what they do not understand, and this fear manifests as rejection and aggression. This behavior is rooted in a narrow and rigid mindset, which prevents the individual from seeing the interconnectedness of all beings. From a Buddhist perspective, this lack of understanding and empathy leads to suffering, both for the intolerant person and those around them. Interacting with intolerant individuals can be particularly harmful. Their negative attitudes and behaviors can lead to feelings of alienation and conflict. They may criticize and belittle others for their differences, fostering a culture of exclusion and prejudice. This toxic environment can hinder one's spiritual journey as it distracts from the pursuit of compassion, understanding, and inner peace. Buddhism teaches the importance of practicing metta or loving-kindness, towards all beings, regardless of their differences. This practice encourages us to embrace diversity and cultivate a sense of universal compassion. By doing so, we break down barriers of intolerance and create a more inclusive and harmonious world. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is crucial to recognize and distance ourselves from intolerant individuals. This does not mean responding with hatred or animosity, but rather setting healthy boundaries to preserve our peace of mind. 
Surrounding ourselves with compassionate and open-minded individuals fosters a supportive environment conducive to spiritual growth. By practicing acceptance and understanding, we uphold the Buddhist values of compassion and interconnectedness. This approach not only enriches our own lives, but also contributes to a more tolerant and peaceful society. In essence, avoiding intolerant people helps us stay true to our spiritual path, promoting harmony and mutual respect in our interactions with others. 5. Dishonest People Dishonesty, characterized by deceit, lies, and the concealment of truth, stands in stark contrast to the Buddhist principle of right speech, which emphasizes honesty and integrity. Dishonest individuals often manipulate facts and mislead others for personal gain or to avoid responsibility. Such behavior creates a foundation of mistrust and insecurity, which can be profoundly damaging to both personal relationships and spiritual development. In Buddhism, truthfulness is vital because it fosters trust, clarity, and harmony. Dishonest behavior not only harms the deceived, but also the deceiver, who accumulates negative karma and moves further away from enlightenment. Dishonesty is rooted in ignorance and greed, driving individuals to prioritize their immediate desires over long-term spiritual growth and well-being. Engaging with dishonest people can be particularly harmful. Their lies and deceit create confusion and conflict, making it difficult to discern the truth and make sound decisions. This environment of mistrust can erode self-confidence and peace of mind, leading to a constant state of doubt and anxiety. Dishonest individuals can also manipulate others into actions or beliefs that are contrary to their true nature and values, thereby hindering their spiritual progress. Buddhism encourages us to cultivate sakka, or truthfulness, in our thoughts, words, and actions. This practice involves being honest with ourselves and others, even when the truth is difficult or uncomfortable. By embracing truthfulness, we build a foundation of trust and integrity that supports our spiritual journey. To protect our well-being and spiritual path, it is essential to recognize and distance ourselves from dishonest individuals. This does not mean responding with animosity, but rather setting clear boundaries to safeguard our inner peace and integrity. Surrounding ourselves with honest and trustworthy people creates a supportive environment conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing and practicing honesty, we align ourselves with the Buddhist principles of right speech and right action. This alignment not only enhances our own lives, but also contributes to a more truthful and harmonious world. Avoiding dishonest people helps us maintain our commitment to integrity and authenticity, ensuring that our actions and interactions reflect our deepest values and beliefs. 6. Arrogant People Arrogance, characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance and a disdain for others, is a significant impediment to spiritual growth and harmonious relationships. In Buddhism, humility and self-awareness are essential virtues as they foster compassion, understanding, and interconnectedness. Arrogant individuals, on the other hand, tend to belittle others and elevate themselves, creating an environment of division and disharmony. Arrogance is rooted in ignorance and ego. Arrogant people often overestimate their abilities and accomplishments while undervaluing those of others. This behavior stems from a lack of true self-awareness and an over-reliance on external validation. From a Buddhist perspective, arrogance blinds individuals to their own flaws and the interconnected nature of all beings, leading to suffering for both the arrogant person and those around them. Interacting with arrogant individuals can be particularly draining and damaging. Their constant need to assert their superiority can undermine the confidence and self-worth of others. They may dismiss others' perspectives and contributions, creating a toxic environment where collaboration and mutual respect are stifled. This dynamic can hinder personal and spiritual growth, as it fosters a sense of inadequacy and competition, rather than cooperation and compassion. Buddhism teaches the importance of practicing humility and recognizing the intrinsic value of all beings. This involves letting go of the ego and embracing a sense of interconnectedness and equality. By doing so, we cultivate compassion, 
empathy, and a genuine appreciation for the contributions of others. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is crucial to recognize and distance ourselves from arrogant individuals. This does not mean responding with hostility, but rather setting healthy boundaries to preserve our peace of mind and self-worth. Surrounding ourselves with humble and respectful people creates a supportive environment conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing humility and self-awareness, we align ourselves with the Buddhist principles of right view and right intention. This alignment enhances our own lives and contributes to a more respectful and harmonious world. Avoiding arrogant people helps us maintain our commitment to compassion and interconnectedness, ensuring that our actions and interactions reflect our deepest values and beliefs. 7. Irresponsible People Irresponsibility, characterized by a lack of accountability and reliability, can create significant disruptions in both personal and communal life. In Buddhism, the principles of right action and right livelihood emphasize the importance of ethical conduct and duty. Irresponsible individuals often neglect their responsibilities, fail to honor commitments, and create chaos and uncertainty for those around them. Irresponsible behavior is often rooted in ignorance and a lack of mindfulness. These individuals may not fully comprehend the impact of their actions on others or the broader community. From a Buddhist perspective, irresponsibility can lead to negative karma as the actions or inactions of irresponsible people can cause harm and suffering to others. This behavior is also often driven by selfishness, as irresponsible people prioritize their own immediate desires over the well-being of others. Interacting with irresponsible individuals can be particularly challenging. Their unreliability can lead to feelings of frustration, disappointment, and mistrust. They may frequently fail to meet obligations, leaving others to deal with the consequences. This creates an unstable environment making it difficult to plan and achieve goals. The lack of accountability can also hinder personal and spiritual growth, as it fosters a sense of chaos and unpredictability. Buddhism encourages us to cultivate mindfulness, responsibility, and ethical conduct in our daily lives. This involves being aware of the consequences of our actions and striving to fulfill our duties with integrity and care. By doing so, we contribute to a stable and harmonious community, supporting the well-being and growth of all its members. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is essential to recognize and distance ourselves from irresponsible individuals. This does not mean responding with anger or judgment, but rather setting clear boundaries to safeguard our peace of mind and stability. Surrounding ourselves with responsible and reliable people creates a supportive environment, conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing responsibility and ethical conduct, we align ourselves with the Buddhist principles of right action and right livelihood. This alignment not only enhances our own lives, but also contributes to a more stable and harmonious world. Avoiding irresponsible people helps us maintain our commitment to mindfulness and duty, ensuring that our actions and interactions reflect our deepest values and beliefs. 8. Selfish People Selfishness, characterized by a focus on one's own needs and desires at the expense of others, stands in direct opposition to the Buddhist values of compassion and selflessness. Selfish individuals prioritize their interests above the well-being of others, leading to a lack of empathy and a disregard for the interconnectedness of all beings. This behavior creates an environment of division and isolation, hindering both personal and spiritual growth. Selfishness is often rooted in ignorance and attachment. Selfish people are typically preoccupied with their desires and material possessions, believing these will bring lasting happiness. From a Buddhist perspective, this attachment leads to suffering, as it fosters a sense of separation from others and a never-ending cycle of craving. The more individuals focus on their selfish desires, the more they reinforce their delusion and distance themselves from true contentment and enlightenment. Interacting with selfish individuals can be particularly draining and detrimental. Their constant focus on their own needs can lead to exploitation and neglect of others' well-being. They may take advantage of others' kindness and resources without reciprocating, 
creating an imbalanced and toxic relationship dynamic. This can result in feelings of resentment, frustration, and depletion for those around them, obstructing the path to mutual respect and harmony. Buddhism teaches the importance of practicing dana, or generosity, which involves giving selflessly without expecting anything in return. This practice fosters a sense of interconnectedness and compassion, helping to dissolve the barriers created by selfishness. By cultivating generosity, we align ourselves with the natural flow of giving and receiving, creating a more balanced and harmonious existence. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is crucial to recognize and distance ourselves from selfish individuals. This does not mean responding with animosity, but rather setting healthy boundaries to safeguard our peace of mind and energy. Surrounding ourselves with compassionate and selfless people creates a supportive environment conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing and practicing generosity, we uphold the Buddhist principles of compassion and interconnectedness. This alignment not only enriches our own lives, but also contributes to a more empathetic and harmonious world. Avoiding selfish people helps us maintain our commitment to selflessness and compassion, ensuring that our actions and interactions reflect our deepest values and beliefs. 9. Gossipers Gossipers, those who spread rumors, engage in idle talk, or speak ill of others, undermine the principles of right speech in Buddhism. Right speech emphasizes the importance of using words that are truthful, kind, and beneficial. Gossipers often indulge in speech that is divisive, harmful, and lacking in mindfulness, creating disharmony and negativity within their communities. From a Buddhist perspective, gossiping is rooted in ignorance and attachment to worldly distractions. Gossipers may derive temporary pleasure or a sense of superiority from discussing others' shortcomings or misfortunes. However, this behavior ultimately perpetuates suffering by perpetuating misunderstandings, creating rifts between individuals, and fostering an atmosphere of distrust. Interacting with gossipers can be particularly damaging. Their words can sow seeds of doubt, suspicion, and conflict among friends, family members, or colleagues. Gossipers may manipulate information or exaggerate facts to suit their narratives, leading to misunderstandings and hurt feelings. This can create a toxic environment where genuine communication and mutual respect are compromised. Buddhism encourages practitioners to cultivate mindfulness and discernment in their speech. This involves speaking with intention, considering the impact of our words on others, and refraining from idle chatter or harmful gossip. By practicing right speech, we contribute to a culture of kindness, honesty, and mutual understanding. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is essential to recognize gossiping behavior and its harmful effects. This does not mean responding with judgment or condemnation, but rather fostering a compassionate and truthful approach to communication. Surrounding ourselves with individuals who uphold the principles of right speech creates a supportive environment conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing mindful speech and refraining from gossip, we align ourselves with the Buddhist teachings of compassion and interconnectedness. This alignment fosters harmonious relationships and contributes to a more peaceful and compassionate world. Avoiding gossipers helps us maintain our commitment to truthful and beneficial communication, ensuring that our words reflect our deepest values and beliefs. 10. Exploiters Exploiters, individuals who use others for their own gain or advantage without regard for their well-being, violate the principles of right livelihood in Buddhism. Right livelihood encourages ethical conduct in one's occupation and interactions, promoting fairness, compassion, and respect for others' dignity. Exploiters, however, prioritize their own interests and desires over the welfare of those they exploit, perpetuating cycles of suffering and inequality. From a Buddhist perspective, exploitation is rooted in greed, ignorance, and a lack of empathy. Exploiters may exploit others financially, emotionally, or physically to satisfy their desires for power, wealth, or status. 
This behavior disregards the interconnectedness of all beings and perpetuates harmful actions that lead to suffering for both the exploited and the exploiter. Interacting with exploiters can be profoundly damaging. Their actions can lead to feelings of betrayal, mistrust, and disillusionment among those who are exploited. Exploiters may manipulate or deceive others into situations that are harmful or disadvantageous, taking advantage of vulnerabilities for personal gain. This undermines mutual respect and integrity, hindering personal and spiritual growth for all involved. Buddhism teaches the importance of practicing compassion and ethical conduct in all aspects of life. This involves respecting the dignity and well-being of others, refraining from exploiting vulnerabilities, and fostering a sense of fairness and equality. By cultivating right livelihood, individuals contribute to a society based on mutual respect, justice, and compassion. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is essential to recognize and distance ourselves from exploiters. This does not mean responding with resentment or retaliation, but rather setting boundaries that uphold our values and integrity. Surrounding ourselves with ethical and compassionate individuals creates a supportive environment, conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing ethical conduct and refraining from exploitation, we align ourselves with the Buddhist principles of right livelihood and compassion. This alignment promotes harmony, fairness, and respect for all beings, contributing to a more just and compassionate world. Avoiding exploiters helps us maintain our commitment to ethical behavior and mutual well-being, ensuring that our actions reflect our deepest values and beliefs. 11. Apathetic People Apathy, characterized by indifference or lack of concern towards the suffering or well-being of others, contradicts the core Buddhist principles of compassion and interconnectedness. Buddhism teaches the importance of empathy, kindness, and active engagement in alleviating suffering and promoting well-being. Apathetic individuals, however, may withdraw from or ignore the suffering of others, thereby contributing to a culture of neglect and disconnection. From a Buddhist perspective, apathy arises from ignorance and a limited understanding of the interconnected nature of all beings. Apathetic individuals may prioritize their own comfort or interests over the needs of others, failing to recognize the shared humanity and interdependence that bind us all together. This lack of empathy perpetuates cycles of suffering and isolation, hindering both personal and collective spiritual growth. Interacting with apathetic individuals can be disheartening and frustrating. Their indifference may lead to feelings of abandonment or neglect among those who are suffering or in need of support. Apathetic individuals may overlook opportunities to contribute positively to their communities or to extend kindness and compassion to others, thereby missing opportunities for personal growth and meaningful connection. Buddhism encourages practitioners to cultivate karuna, or compassion, which involves actively caring for the well-being of others and alleviating their suffering. This practice requires us to overcome self-centeredness and to develop a genuine concern for the happiness and welfare of all beings. By cultivating compassion, we foster a sense of interconnectedness and mutual support, contributing to a more compassionate and harmonious society. To protect our spiritual well-being, it is essential to recognize and address apathy within ourselves and others. This involves cultivating mindfulness and actively engaging in compassionate actions that promote understanding, empathy, and well-being. Surrounding ourselves with compassionate and engaged individuals creates a supportive environment conducive to personal and spiritual growth. By valuing compassion and actively addressing apathy, we align ourselves with the Buddhist principles of empathy and interconnectedness. This alignment fosters a culture of caring, respect, and mutual support, contributing to a more compassionate and harmonious world. Avoiding apathy helps us maintain our commitment to alleviating suffering and promoting well-being, ensuring that our actions reflect our deepest values and beliefs. As we conclude our exploration of 11 types of people you should never tolerate, Remember that identifying these behaviors is not about judgment, but about protecting our spiritual and emotional well-being. 
By recognizing and distancing ourselves from these negative influences, we uphold Buddhist principles of compassion, integrity, and mindfulness. Let us cultivate a community where kindness and understanding prevail, where each action reflects our deepest values. Together, we can foster a harmonious environment that supports personal growth and collective enlightenment. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards greater wisdom and compassion. Join the Wisdom Quest community today. Embrace mindfulness, compassion, and growth. Together, let's cultivate a brighter path towards wisdom and harmony. Subscribe now for daily insights and transformative teachings.